Hey guys, this is James from TDB bringing you another in between episode. So today I am actually deviating a little bit from Pu'er or showing showing my you my stash. Um, so today I'm actually drinking some Taiwanese oolong, um, some Dong Ding actually. So one of the classic Taiwanese oolongs. You could get it roasted. You could get it more of a greener style. Um, but I've been drinking through a lot of roasted oolongs for sort of a tea of the month that got postponed a whole bunch. Um, it was supposed to air about a year ago, but uh, stuff happens, or in this case, just a lot of different tea happened, and so I just didn't get to it right away. Um, so this is uh, a tea that you know I was examining a lot of different roasted oolongs to see what I thought would age, and I'm someone that doesn't have experience aging oolongs, obviously, um, but you know, sort of looking at it through that lens, uh, so to speak. So. Uh, this one, I would say, this is a really nice oolong that would probably age pretty well, um, and I think it's also just a really good, decent, uh, drink, so I wanted to bring it on the show. Uh, so it's the Legend of Dong Ding, or Tung Ting, as they call it, from Tea Home. And so Tea Home, I found, is actually a really pretty decent, uh, Taiwanese oolong vendor. Um, they're based in the, sort of, like, Nanto area... Um, where like Shan Li, Shi, Dong Ding are. Um, and so they have a lot of teas centered around there. They have a bunch of different Dong Dings. And I found that their tea is actually very good for the price. And so they're sort of one of those like no frills vendors that only, that does the bulk of their business selling to um, the Taiwanese. Um, so they don't really need the Western audience, but they do sell on eBay. And you know, for those of you that like Taiwanese oolongs or those of you that really like sort of these darker oolongs from Dong Ding or even these lighter ones from like Shan Li Shi, for instance, I'd highly recommend you guys go check them out. Um, I've been pretty satisfied and they've compared very well um, against Mountain Tea, for instance, uh, who is who I, uh, another vendor that figured prominently into the tastings. So this is actually the first two steep, so unlike Pu'er, uh, where the first two steeps are maybe not the most important ones, Oolong is a tea that gets going a little bit quicker. Um, yeah, so let's have a smell. So, um, a lot of sweetness coming off the aroma. Um, a lot of, uh, Creamy, a little bit floral notes, uh, a little bit roasty as well. Um, I'd say the aroma has changed a little bit. Uh, I smelled it right after I finished up the rinse. And I'm smelling it now. It definitely smells a little bit different. Cheers. Relatively smooth. Um, a, a, sort of a smooth form to it. I wouldn't say it's super soft, but it's towards the softer end of that spectrum. Medium body sort of moves towards the back of your mouth fairly nicely. I found that this tea had a lot better depth than a lot of the lower quality um, oolongs that I had, either the cheaper stuff from Tea Home or the other teas from Mountain Tea. Um, I'd say the roast is just really nicely balanced uh, with the rest of the flavor. The leaves, hopefully you guys got to see them in the first shot, are really nice looking. They're fairly large uh, uh, for, you know, that area. Steep number two. Cheers, guys. So this one, I'd say the body is fuller. It's hinting a little bit of sort of at that astringent quality. Um, I would say that I don't want to extend that third steep more. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Um, I think this tea, um, you know, I, I focus a lot because I'm a poor person that's sort of coming back to oolong, so to speak. So I focus a lot sort of like on how it feels in the mouth and like how far, so how sort of the depth is. So like, am I tasting it in my throat? my tasting in the front of my mouth. So a lot of these oolongs are very unsatisfying because I could only sort of taste it sort of at the tip of my mouth and sort of left a sort of bitter taste. So even though the taste when you're initially drinking it might have been okay or, you know, decent enough, 
some some of the teas would just have this like nasty vegetal bitterness that you know I just don't like um, and so this tea has none of that this tea has a much better depth than a lot of the other dong dings or the tiaguanins um, that I've had this month mm. so still relatively smooth despite sort of hinting at that astringent quality um, it, it's it's not overpowering at all uh, because I, this is the last bit of my sample, I think that's probably the reason that I'm getting a little bit more bite to it. So, you know, to adjust for that, I'm just going to keep this next steep time real short. So, you guys can see that sort of it's starting to take over my uh, entire Shibo. Uh, and I did use, end up using slightly more leaves as well as a result of the end of the sample bag is sort of use five or use 5.5. So I went ahead and I used the 5.5 grams for about a yeah, 75 milliliter um, uh, Shibo. So the body is definitely bigger. So the, the question of like how long you want to steep it is really up to personal preference. If you're someone that really likes a big soft body this tea is very good uh, if you extend it but you will be uh, you will have to suffer through a little bit of astringency if you go for that so this uh, third steep similar looking liqueur And yeah, I'd say it's fairly similar to the previous one. A really nice sort of balanced, uh, sort of getting a little bit more of the, uh, just a slight bit of uh, nuttiness to it as well now. Um, more of those like roasty minerals as well. So uh, I'd say that this tea does a really good job of balancing a number of different um, sorts of roasted oolong styles. It's not, it's not like the most amazing Taiwanese oolong you're going to have, but I think for the price, it's, uh, it's pretty damn good. Um, so I think that just about wraps up this in between so uh, thank you guys for tuning in let me know how you like this sort of off the beaten path for me uh, oolong episode if you'd like to see more like this uh, or if you prefer then I just drink poor 100% of the time